In order to be able to empty, one first must be able to see what's there at all that may be invited to release or that may be invited to remain. Observe yourself. Listen to yourself. Be curious about yourself. Be willing to understand yourself. And in this case, I am not referring to your deep nature, although you may get in touch with that also. But when I say yourself in this lesson, I mean how you are currently expressing in this realm, the local you. Be a student of yourself. Stop hiding from yourself. Be a safe and compassionate witness for yourself. Seek ways to increase awareness of your system and its portions. Say hi to your cells, to your mitochondria. Come to know yourself. Explore yourself this way without making any comment about what you like or don't like or any other type of value judgment. Just observe and be curious about what is within you. Ask yourself, what magic can this body and being do? What magic is this body already doing? As you face things in yourself you are not a fan of, let, let's say you have a hunchback. Ask yourself, what kind of magic does a hunchback do? Or fill in the blank. Make it a funny question. Get excited about even your less favorite parts of yourself. Because it's all magic. As a magician, you will less become a strong wrestler of the world to get it to be what you want. Rather, you will ground in yourself as a being the world encounters and will necessarily be required to reckon with. You will know yourself. You will trust yourself. You will trust your magic. The world is just a flickering image for you to play with. The first appearance you will call is yourself. Part of what I invite you to explore is your desires your knots, and your appearances. See what you are talking to yourself about in terms of the missing experiences in your life and the desires you have. I'm not asking you to deal with them in any way at this point, but simply to see them there and give them name. They may be debris, they may be some of your greatest tools, but first, see them. See the appearances currently in your experience. Again, without describing whether you like them or not, simply describe who and what is there and what is the activity and storyline. You may wish to journal some of this. Put your observations in written form. Another journaling to do is to outline what practices are in your 24 hours. What activity and storyline are installed in your 24-hour time frame. Finally, recognize and submit to the master of your body, which is you. Say to this master you, I greet you in peace. I offer my service. I am willing to receive the wisdom you deliver. Hear yourself, trust yourself.